Hi, welcome to Wise Guys. This video is about a word problem solving related to systems of linear equation. So I made one question. Let's see. Ken prepares 50 pounds of blended coffee beans, selling for six dollars per pound by blending together an expensive beans costing $8.25 per pound and a cheaper beans at $3.50 per pound. How much of the expensive coffee beans and how much of the cheaper coffee beans should he use to make the mixture? So let's see draw a picture. They are talking about two different kinds of coffee beans. One is expensive one. For example, this is an expensive one. Expensive one, you say uh, expensive, put the E expensive. The other is cheaper one. Cheaper one, as cheaper one. Then mix together make total is 15, 50 pounds, right? So we don't know how much this one, we don't know how much cheaper one, but we know the total is 50 pounds. And also, the expensive one is 825 per pound, and cheaper one is 350 per pound. So what we can be looking for, how much for expensive or how much for cheaper. So let's say for the this is the x pound. If you have x pound for expensive one, y pound for cheaper one, okay? Then mix together, you got the 50. So that's why the first equation you can write first equation, you can write x plus y you call 50, right? Because total is 50 pounds. But we don't know how much the expensive one, how much for cheaper one. And then we can label the price after we've done the first equation, we can label what the expensive one, 8, this is the 8, dollar twenty five per pound each pound you have x pound for example you have twenty pound right so then multiply the unit price you got the total the price for buying the expensive one and the cheaper one with the three fifty so three fifty for each pound for cheaper one then Selling price is six dollars per pound, so this is six dollars. See, that's why we can write the second equation, which is about the price, the total money. So that means this part is how much for how much money for total expensive. One. This one is how much money for cheaper one. And this is the, eventually, is how much for the total, right? So then we can write price, you can write the second one, you write, you don't need a carry unit. So 825 times x plus 350 plus multiply y, and it equals $6.6 time 50, yeah, time 50, this one, time 50, here, right? So the second equation, and after s set up the second two equations, then we can solve it, right? So what we can do is this, 
we can use substitution method or we use elimination method. Here I show you using elimination method. So first, uh, I'm going to go to the next page. So I copied these two equations. And say, I write eight twenty-five times x plus three fifty times y equals six point six dollars one five fifty. And put the second one x plus y equals fifty. So this is the first equation. The second equation. And I'm going to do elimination. So see which one I need to multiply for this one. Make the same coefficient. So I think because I already put the, the first equation on the bottom, I try to multiply 350 for each of them. So this one multiply 350 for each of them. I can label on the bottom 350, 350, 350, right? Each of them 350. Then I have the equation is you have this one, you got 350x plus 350y equals 350 times is 50. Okay? I got the third equation. Then I do the second equation. With third equation, I do subtraction to subtraction. So this one, subtract this. So I write down 2 minus 3. I got this one minus this one. Right? This is x, this is x. So 8.25x subtract 3.550x. We got 475, 4.75x. And this is a 350. The 350y, 350y cancel when they subtract cancel. Then got the equal. This side is six times fifty is three hundred, right? Three hundred minus this one and times this one is seventy one seventy five. So then we end up. 4.75x you call this one is 125 right 125 and you can divide it by 4.75 for both sides you can use calculator to find this answer using this one 125 divided by 4.75 we got 26.3 tall this is for x which is the expensive one this is the expensive one and the cheaper one and we can plug this one into the first one x plus y equal 50. As an x equal 26.3, so that's why you can go to first equation. First equation, we got 26.3 plus y equal 50. So that's why we got the y equal 50 minus 26.3, which is 23.7, right? So this is the answer. So we need expensive. This expensive is this is the expensive one. This is the expensive one, right? 
expensive coffee bean is 26.3 pounds and uh, put the cheaper coffee bean is 23.7 pounds this is using system of linear equation to solve two unknown the word problem Make sure the question. Thank you very much.